Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Halu. Welcome to today's video. In this video, we're going to be seeing how you can reduce lag in Fortnite. So, this video is going to be like a universal video. So, whether you have an i3 rig or an i5 rig, uh, if you have a graphics score or you don't, this video is going to basically give you a general idea on how you can boost your FPS, right? So, now I know uh, I, ca I can't guarantee you like 60 FPS or 90 FPS this time because... Uh, as you know, Epic Games have updated Fortnite to a point where it just keeps on degrading the performance every update they leave. So, I can't, again, I can't promise you anything, but I hope, like, I I can tell you one thing, right? You, you will have better frame rate at the end of this video. So, without any further ado, let's just get into it. Now, uh, I've divided this video into three parts. So, uh, basically, this is one of the most advanced videos you can found, find out there on YouTube, right? So, basically, I have an, about like 20 tips for you to share. For okay. So, we're going to go from easy, medium, and advanced, right? So, the previous tip is always easier than the letter tip. Meaning, if there is two tips, one and two, uh, two is harder than one. So, basically, if you have... If you don't have any computer knowledge, you can do easy steps, okay? There will be no issues in that. If you have at least some computer knowledge on what to do, you can do easy as well as the medium steps. If you know what you're doing in computers, then you can go for advanced. But if you're so desperate, but you still don't know anything about PCs, uh, I, I'll tell you what to do. Just follow my lead, okay? So without any further ado, let's just get into the video. Now, I know I'm doing a lot of things that have been... That have been known to people right so basically many things is already known to you but still i'm gonna tell you those things right? so first thing first uh for your game to run better uh you have to lower your settings now uh unfortunately i just closed my fortnite so we'll get into the first tip in a short while so uh then we'll just move on to the next one the next one is basically doing a virus scan so maybe there might be a simple issue where some type of virus is inside your pc so basically if you own an antivirus you can just for example i own casper sky antivirus internet security here so all you need to do is run that and just go to a deep, deep scan right so on how many viruses if there are any viruses in my pc just fix those so because vi viruses can slow down your computer and slowing down your computer can actually take a huge toll on uh, graphics performance like Moving on to the next tip, we're going to install a game optimization device. Now, I know many people have said that game optimization apps are not that good. And I have to second that because game optimization apps are basically another app. So, it will, in some cases, it might slow down your PC. But I think I found a great app for you guys. It's called Razer Cortex. All you need to do is go to this link. It's called www.razer.com slash cortex. Link in the description. All you need to do is download this thing, right? And I there are many uh, tutorials online regarding Razer Cortex. So what basically Razer Cortex does, not sponsored by Razer Cortex, by the way. Uh, it reduces the number of black background apps at one particular time and it boosts only your game so that, you know, uh, you, you can feel a performance increase. But again, there are... We can't say for sure because again, Razer Cortex is another app. So if you're very desperate, if you need those frames, then please go ahead and install. So now moving on to the next, we, we got a Fortnite here. So all you need to go is open Fortnite, go to your Battle Royale. So this is by far the most easiest as well as most people don't know what this tip is about. So basically what you're going to do is this is what your in-game uh is like in fortnite so what you're gonna do is first of all you're gonna change wait let me see if i can zoom this you're gonna change from windows full screen to full screen mode so why i'm doing that i'll tell you afterwards basically if you change your mode to full screen uh your game runs better because eh, because for example right i'm in windowed full screen right now windowed full screen is basically optimized so that i can switch between apps at one point of time so uh you can see how easily i'm switching between apps right but if same thing i'm running in full screen same resolution guys just see can, can you feel that a little bit of a black screen just came when i switched from fortnite to another game because that makes it hard it just fixes in that full screen so resulting you in better performance 
name and words. So what you're gonna do is change this to full screen and then change your display resolution to the lowest. Okay, I am blabbering shit now, but change your display resolution. I don't know why I'm stuttering so much today. Uh, to 1280 into 720. Okay, so why I'm doing this is basically because I can run this game in a far, far, far lower. A far 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 lower graphics so basically this, this is how my game is right now right so this means i can get easily i can get like 60 fps in my pc right so uh this is something that you can do and you should do obviously if you want those more frames but here something disable vsync dis disable motion blur disable show fps and disable multi allow multi threader rendering please disable this okay or you'll face lag so yeah this is one basic tutorial uh we're gonna go to the next steps obviously so that is step number one okay so now that that's done we're gonna close fortnite now we're moving on to the next step we're gonna optimize windows game bar so what i mean by that is go to your start and type game bar all you need to type is game b bar so this is where you have to and you, you can see under settings you can see game bar settings so just click that we we'll just come back now here it says record game screenshots and broadcast using game bar on now basically this will be an on just turn this off I'm t i'll tell you why i'm turning this off for example uh, all i need to press is windows g right and then uh, i get an overlay so basically at any point of time i can overlay windows game bar uh, i think yeah like this i don't think you can see the overlay right now but again uh, this takes a more cpu and more memory as well so that means more lag so just disable that now moving on to the next one we're gonna go and into windows game mode and we're going to optimize our game by that so all you need to type is game mode and or just type in game and go to settings game mode settings please click that now first of all for some pcs this won't be available right uh, it says your your pc doesn't support game mode uh, then just leave it but if your pc does support game mode just turn this on and then related settings go to graphic settings and press that enter key or uh, click in this case so now you're gonna Go like choose an app to set preference. It's basically classic. Now press browse. Now it takes some time. So what you have to do is you have to locate your Fortnite fi file now. So basically, if you if you don't know where your Fortnite is, or if you didn't custom install your Fortnite, it'll be at this PC C drive and program files x86. But in this case, I know where my Fortnite drive is because I installed it in a different drive to save space. If you guys don't know how to do that, I'll link a uh, video in the description. You can just see that. Now, once you're in Fortnite, uh, your Fortnite file, you have to go to Fortnite game and then binaries and then Win64, right? Now, you're going to see one thing called Fortnite client uh, Win64 shipping.exe. All you need to do is click that or double click that or just click that and press add. So what this does is basically uh, Windows sets uh, optimization. Yeah, like it's, now if you go inside this and press options, right? You can set the graphics preference, right? For example, now it's in system default. I can go high performance. So basically, it'll it'll give more resources towards running Fortnite. So that is it for this step. Moving on to medium, guys. We have completed easy. Now we are going on to medium. A little more, a little more uh, difficult, right? So first things first. Again, go to your uh, the next step is go to your Fortnite game or go, this is again for game files. But in this case, you're gonna go to your C drive and then you're gonna go to your uh, users under the users you're gonna click public and no, no don't click public uh click on admin okay and if you got your pc if you bought your pc or someone assembled it for you it's probably admin just click enter all it'll be your name so at from here app data you're gonna see this uh, shady thing called app data but sometimes you you won't be able to see that so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on view and then you're gonna check the hidden items box now once you've done that you're gonna go back to app data and now under app data you're gonna go to local local and then you're gonna search for fortnite game again once you're done with fortnite game you, you'll get a saved file now you go into config from there and go to windows client now you, you see this windows user settings or ini so this is basic a, a file that uh, defines what your user setting is so basically what you're gonna do is if your game is still lagging just control f and type resolution right and just press find next now keep on pressing find next until you find a thing called resolution quality right uh, sg dot resolution quality is equal to 37.55555 sorry 5000 i don't know why i'm reading shit wrong but now 
you're going to type 20 or 10 something like that because for it's 35 right now change it to 20 or uh, 10 but look your game will be way worse you can't even like look at things <laughs> uh, please uh, be ready to take that risk okay so you can change this to 20 now what it basically does is uh, just change it to 20.00 okay so what this basically does is your game now runs significantly more smoother but you can't see anything now now this uh, we're going to save this file now to confirm the save all we're going to do is right click this and then go to properties and now under properties we're going to check the read and release attribute and then click apply that is it for this step moving on to the next step is uh, again uh, eliminating all background apps so so that more resources is given to your pc again uh, all you're going to give is control shift escape on your keyboard right or you can just like for example you can just right click and go to task manager now once you're in task manager we're going to do two things here number one you can see the background processes here right so basically sorry for that now basically uh, at this point of time right you can i think you can see my pc only one two three four five six seven only seven apps are running including task manager now let's look at background processes 72 background processes are running so basically this also eats away my cpu simple so something like adobe if you don't use adobe or if you use adobe like one year back you can just right click and press end task like that and then again if you uh, don't use origin you can just end task right click and end task so you can do this to basically everything that you don't use for example i don't use video stream i can just right click and end task so you can do that to as much programs as you can here again don't disable anything that has to do with your antivirus or don't do anything regarding something regarding uh, microsoft like cortana or microsoft store right don't do that your your pc will face some issue right so once you have done that uh, go to startup now this is a very important thing now you may tell that hello you know what i have disabled all my programs i've disabled all my startup programs right but still i mean i've disabled all my background programs but still somehow somehow i still feel the lag i'll tell you why you're feeling that that's because of all these things right here so what are these boxes right here this is everything that is startup programs for example uTorrent is now enabled so basically whenever i start my pc uTorrent just, just gets enabled right what that does again increases my cpu load so that is something that you need to remember adobe who needs adobe at starting especially when you're playing games apple push i don't know what apple pushes so just disable it origin yeah origin if you play apex legends just enable it but again if you're going to be playing fortnite uh if whenever you want to play apex legends just that time go and start origin from your desktop like from right here but just click the disable button what you don't have to disable is realtek hd audio manager and windows security notifications except these two just disable everything and ev anything that you see right once we are done yeah so that is it for this step i'm gonna go a little bit faster from here because again i i want to finish this tutorial within 20 minutes so please bear with me because i have a lot more to answer so the next thing is to update drivers so basically if you didn't know how to update drivers updating drivers is like uh updating your phone right oh shit, uh, that is probably the worst uh, explanation or example anybody gave uh but here's the thing right for example uh your pc is running android 8 and then you get an android sorry pc your phone is running android 8 and you get an android 9 update basically when you update you get better performance right that is for any game except fortnite by the way any game any any system for example windows 10 is significantly better than windows 8.1 right so that is something that's called updating so basically for example you have a gpu you have a cpu uh, you have ram and you have so many hardware components and each of these components have specific drivers what is a driver it is basically a software that helps your hardware run better so that you get better performance so what basically happens is you might be having a driver uh, of your igpu or your gpu which was released in 2012 you might be having a 2012 driver right uh, but fortnite was released in 2017 right what this means your driver is outdated as sometimes this cannot be uh, this cannot be avoided but at other times you can just go and update your drivers i'll, I'll link some driver updating softwares uh, again i'm not going to go in depth tutorials because i'll make this video more longer so 
again uh, link in the description next we'll go to uh, changing the resolution that is your in-game files right uh, now you have that done change your resolution in-game files is one but there's another thing called changing your resolution meaning you can just go or you can right click on your desktop and press display settings now once you press display setting you can see this 1920 into 1080 so what basically you have to know what you're doing with your pc sometimes uh, you can go and select 800 to 600 or 1280 to 720 once you've selected that you can just click apply uh, to get better performance basically if you run your pc in 800 is to 600 right your pc will be better right it'll perform better but again uh graphics card like the intel hd graphics card it struggles a lot to downscale so basically you'll be doing more harm than good because a 1080p monitor should be converted into 800 into 600 monitor then you have to run your game in that so that's just more work for your igpu right so keep that in mind as well when you're doing stuff like this okay so again when you're running in igpu and stuff like that sometimes when you change this your piece your screen will just go blank man and there are a lot of things now if if the tips in this tutorial doesn't help you please don't give a dislike and just say you do your your fake man none of your tips work okay because i have researched this for about what uh, this is the seventh day i'm researching about this topic alone right so just don't dislike it just uh comment whatever problem you're facing i'll be happy to help you anytime right i, I respond to 99 percent of the comments so any problem you're facing just leave a comment down below and i'll help you now now we're going go, going moving on so all you need to do is type uninstall so once you've done that add or remove programs you'll get prompted by a window uh, now go and uh now basically change app these default deleted questions now go to now as you can see we have a lot of apps right here so basically some people they have an adobe reader they have utorrent and they have adobe after effects right but they don't use any of those they only use fortnite and it's their pc nobody from their family uses it so what i what i can tell you is just uninstall because if you install a lot of apps it again gets a lot of space and when it gets a lot of space it goes into the background processor you now look you can't eliminate background processor every time right so again it will slow your cpu and when it slows your cpu it will slow your game down so unnecessary programs just click uninstall now again you can't hear uninstall stuff like mail and calendar from microsoft corporation now you might ask i have a windows 7 hello what do i do just go to your control panel and then uh, from here you can again go to uh, uh, apps i think so it's called programs and apps so yeah from here you can again do that you can search that on uh, google yeah here's programs and features so once you're here whatever app you don't use click it and press uninstall boom next uh, next we're moving on oh no, no no now this is the last thing for a uh, medium medium level so the next tip is paused one drive syncing so what you're going to do is you're going to pause one drive syncing basically what the, i mean by that is you're going to go into your one drive you can do that simply by going here and clicking this cloud button so sometimes here the cloud button is not there so it'll be right here like this just click on the cloud button if the cloud button is not even there for you then it's it's you're, you're good man you don't have to do anything but for some people there is this cloud button so what you're going to do is you're going to click on more here and you're going to press pause syncing now again if you don't use one drive if you use it of one drive just just pause the syncing for how many how much hours you're playing for example if you play you're planning on playing fortnite for two hours press this two hour button right and then you'll be good now okay so now that's that's done if you don't even use one drive just right click one drive and just close okay all, all you have to do is close one drive more and close one drive now once you have done this just close the one drive disable it from the startup again as you can see here i am disabling the one drive so one drive will never open it'll never bother you don't worry so moving on to advanced right i i don't i think we're recording right yeah okay we're recording because i was scared for a bit uh advanced so first of all we're gonna clear your temporary folder what the, what it uh, basically means is press windows r on your keyboard and then type temp right uh and press enter so what basically does is it'll say you don't have currently the permission to access this folder just click continue now this is your temporary folder what meaning what do you mean by temporary folder you see all these files here yeah you don't need it uh because these files are something that is going on right now basically these temp files are all these 
programs just storing files for now so as soon as i close this program basically temporary files should also close but sometimes that is not the case for example in my temporary folder there is this m cafe app and to be honest i don't even use m cafe man <clears throat> i don't know how that got installed here so this is unnecessary bloatware by the way so all you're going to do is control a and shift delete these things now again when you shift delete these things it says you do you have to have administration just click continue at some files i'm telling you again it says uh, it because this file is open in said so you're going to press this like it says your file is open just check this box and press skip okay now that's done uh, your pc should be fa facing less lag as of now going on to the next we're going to go the, this is the second last thing that uh, like basically so what you're going to do is uh, i think we can close this right here right so what you're going to do is you're going to go to this pc guys basically this pc or my computer whatever it is you're going to right click this and go to properties now once you're in properties you're going to go to advanced system settings now once you're in advanced system system settings you're going to go to advanced and just you're going to click settings on the first thing that is performance visual effects and etc so now you're going to go advanced from here and then a virtual memory a paging file for this area uses at this it where ram so what you're going to do is click change now what i'm going to do is just automatically no uh, disable this thing go to your d drive or e drive or whatever drive you want right so then click on custom size now first of all what is the initial size right initial size is basically what your recommended size is which is 1111 right now what is your maximum size now first of all when you see how much ram you have that is 8 gb see that by right clicking your this pc and go to properties i have 8 gb ram so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open my calculator once i've opened my calculator click uh okay yes now that i've opened my calculator we're going to do some calculations over here so first of all we're going to multiply 8 into 10248 is the amount of ram you have in this case it's 8 gb so 8 into 1024 which gives you sorry i i put 1204 by mistake 8 into 1024 which gives you 8192 now you're going to keep this 8192 and multiply it by 1.5 you you may ask hello why 1.5 it's basically the paging size right when you do this you get a specific value which is 12288 i'm going to for maximum size i'm going to type 12288 so just be sure you have 12 gb of free space at least in whatever drive you're doing that so i'm going to go 1911 and 12288 now once you click okay or set here now we'll tell you to restart your computer it's no big deal uh you just you have to restart your computer yeah like it's here and uh, i think you'll be fair i you will be getting better performance right so moving on to the this is actually a mid level only uh moving on to the one of the last steps right we're going to go to your fortnite right we're going to go to your library first of all we're going to go to fortnite and we're going to press this settings tab once you're in the settings tab we're going to go to options right once we are in options right we're going to go down uh give me a second okay so wait okay so i think epic disabled that but basically what you could do is uh it'll be somewhere here only give me a second Yeah, you're gonna go to your Epic settings. Sorry, you're gonna go to your Epic settings and go inside Fortnite and enable this additional command line arguments. So what you're gonna do first, you're gonna press that hyphen mark and type whatever I do right now. First of all, you're gonna type all caps. Use all available ports. Okay. So now give us space before we do on to the next one. And the next one is you're gonna go type no splash. Again, what is no splash? I'll explain you. And then third thing we're going to type is third processor, right? Space. Now you can see how many processors you have. In this case, I have four, meaning I have four cores in my processor. You can see that by going to your task manager, Control Escape E, and then go to your performance. And under CPU, you can see how much I have. Right? You say cores four, right? Or logical processor four. What you're going to do is we're going to go back to our settings there was a settings yes and we're going to type the number 4 and we're going to press enter that's it we are done for this we can just close now go back and next time you run your fortnite may you get better fps right now again you can close all these apps here for example i don't use origin right now you can just 
go and press close quit origin do all those stuff right so the last and final tip i want to tell you guys is overclocking now if nothing none of these works try overclocking again can't go into much details about what overclocking it is or how to do it but i hope you find someone who's good enough to tell you all those because overclocking comes at a risk guys uh, i'm warning you just go and search what overclocking means it means basically giving extra power to your cpu or gpu to make it perform better right so all these aside right so whatever you try here i again your your with every single update that is given by fortnite again and again your pc is going to face a lot of lag i'm not going to lie i have a gtx 1060 and i still face lag right i figured all this out when i had an i5 and i had intel hd graphics card and i'm telling you my game ran more smoother back then right but again i'm using more uh, more display settings here but still uh, so if none of these works for you you have to upgrade your components what i mean by that uh, upgrade your ram upgrade your cpu upgrade your gpu now you might say hello who is giving the money for all that are you giving right so i understand because uh, i that's why i'm telling this at last right so again if you want you have to spend this money guys start saving again i have a gtx 750 ti that i'm not using if uh, just put in the comments if you want me to give it away if you watched until the end of this video type potato okay that is just a code word and if i am giving away the 750 ti i'll just add your name in right thanks for watching this video guys if you like this video just press the like button doesn't matter if these steps worked or not because i have spent a huge time and i think these things will work any even a significant uh up, update like even if you get like two or three frames extra that is something that is a win from my part right so this is by far the most advanced tutorial again i'm saying this guys so i can't uh maybe until i find more things i can't upload a part 3 of this so stay tuned guys stay tuned if i get some more i will uh, definitely share it with you guys so yeah if you like this video uh, leave a like comment your specs comment if you have any issues regarding the game and i will try my best to fix it uh, thanks for watching again really means a lot if you're new to this channel just hit that subscribe button it it would really mean the world to me uh, thanks for watching again i'll see you guys in the next one and then peace out have a nice day stay lit